Hey everyone, hey everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, we are in the midst of brownie week here on Five Minute Eats. And today we have got one of your typical OGs of the brownie game. This is the Pillsbury Chocolate Fudge Brownie Mix. This says that it's a 13 by nine family size. It is a buck 48, which is not bad. Now I made this in an eight by eight inch pan, which they say is their thickest you could also do a different size, which would be thicker. And then the 13 by nine would be thick. So I used what we had and I feel like it came out like all of the other brownies that we've done. So that looks good. This is a two egg mixture as opposed to a three egg mixture. So it's supposed to be more fudgy rather than cake like. Now this thing looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. It's got a nice crackly top on it. It looks quite moist on the inside. I agree, it looks moist. Yeah. So guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review every day grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back, our rating system. Thumbs up we buy it again, thumbs down we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. This is a shocker here because this looked moist, it wasn't, compared to the great value. Because the great value, that's like the Walmart, just generic brand, right? That that was moist. This, it was kind of dry. Now, it's not bad. I think this would be better with three eggs. Mm. It tastes pretty good. I just wish it was moist. Thumbs up. For me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I don't hate it, but would I purchase it again over some of the others? No, so it's a thumbs down. I think that you're correct. It's not as moist as it looks to be. It's actually almost a little bit tough, like not hard to chew or anything, but it's definitely a more firm and thick texture than some of the others that we've tried. For me, I don't mind that with brownies, but it's gotta be thinner. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. you want, if it's gonna be tough, you want it to be a thin brownie? Yeah. Mm. I like my brownies thick and just kind of very moist and fudgy and a little bit airy and pillowy. I like a, a really nice brownie. For me, I like the Little Debbie thinness. No. You don't like that? I mean, a Little Debbie is fine for what it is, but for like a homemade brownie, I want it to be thick, you know? So maybe you would have liked this even more, like in a 13 by nine, yeah. um, but I love the thick ones. But anyway, this is, it's just okay. I think the, the clincher for me, because I was all right with it not being as moist, but whenever I compare the flavor of the actual chocolate, to like the Great Value and the Duncan Hines and stuff. I think that this one is a little bit more bitter. Like it's not quite dark chocolate, but it does have more bitterness to it than the others. So I don't love that because it's almost like a, a little bit of like a burnt chocolate kind of flavor, but it's, it's very light. You only notice it if you're really like trying to taste it. And I just don't love that. I felt like the sweetness on this was a little too intense. It was pretty sweet, yeah. And I think that the, the flavor of the chocolate just kind of didn't go with it. It kind of clashed a little bit. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.